good morning and welcome back to the channel. We finished our Pikes Peak and Great Sand Dunes National Park vlog yesterday and we are starting this vlog today. It is Saturday, September 4th and we are in Durango, Colorado for the Four Corners Motorcycle Rally. Yesterday we got off to a slow start. I wasn't feeling so good so I spent most of the day in bed. Today we are going to head to downtown Durango as well as Durango Harley Davidson and see what there is to get into and I guess we'll go from there. So without further ado, Let's roll that intro and get this vlog started. Excited? Well, I'm not gonna hit a truck on this one, so. <laughs> Even though it's really close to a truck. I just healed from the last one. So do you have any riding experience? So I can tell you, I can tell you when your wheel starts to move. Because your wheel started to move once you laced, once that clutch hit a certain point, your back wheel started to move. Therefore, you started to move. Okay. Yeah. Pulling up from one is neutral, right? It's a half flip. Try to, it's in between one Try to find it. Can you find it? Well, half? Sure half. You there you go. Yep. That's it. Just like that so one, neutral. That was a two, though. Yes. Yep. Okay. So one, half flip. Yep. There you go. Okay. okay, so now try putting it in neutral, turning it on, going from first to second. Yeah, you're awfully bossy. You've got it. You got this. Honestly, you did great. Uh, I mean, I had you did to good. Fall Absolutely. Fall out, so yeah, I'm telling you, I can get it to go. I can't get it to stop. You can get it to stop. Yeah. Slow the engine. You're gonna downshift, and then you're gonna brake. Okay. So go clutch. Pulling this in is gonna kill all the power. Yes. All the power. So if you ever get in a panic, pull the clutch in, and you'll stop. Absolutely. There you go. Watch all the way in. Down to first. Slowly release. Give it a little throttle. And there you go. You're going. You're yeah. moving. More throttle. Back tire's throttle. going. More throttle. There you go. Pick up speed. Switch to second. Up. And release. Yep. You drop the clutch. Release it slowly. But good job. Can you put it in neutral? Yeah. Pulling so on I my tell people light. if you feel uncomfortable, just turn it off yeah, and then I'll just lift it in. <laughs> no, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't understand it's not. I know. It's so you can roll out on the clutch a little bit and it'll work. Yeah. And pop it. There you there go. There you go. Okay, so we just finished up at Durango Harley Davidson. Uh, we bought some shirts, a poker chip. Petted some dogs, that was important. Um, we did drive 30 minutes on this nice seat to get to Farmers Fresh. Um, they're having a, their fifth annual green chili fest down here, so we're about to go check that out. Let's go. Good. It's got chicken on it. 
Go check them out. Smells good. Yo, that's so good. It's good to see all these beautiful faces out wow. here. Thank you guys for coming out here. my friend. <laughs> Circle of life. It's so hot. Is it? Not like spicy hot, but like just came off the grill hot. It's real good though. It gets you at the end. Oh, it's so worse. It just gets worse. Hey, we got Robert Tiffany Langford here. They were just strolling to town, they told me. And they saw a salsa competition. So they're like, hey, we can make salsa. Okay, so we are at our third event of the day and it's gonna be the Hooligan Dirt Dash. I believe that they race Harley Davidson style bikes on a dirt track. So I'm super excited about that. I hope someone crashes. Let's get it done. I don't know if you guys know, but at a biker rally, they throw all rules and all appropriations out the window and have a lot of freaking fun. There is no beer limit, and that seems absolutely dangerous. So before we hit that, we're gonna hop on the bike and head back home. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Sunday, September 5th. So it's our last day for the biker rally. Um, we're gonna go down, watch the hill climb, see if some people get hurt, hopefully not, but it's almost like bull riding. Like our fourth or fifth event at the bike rally, 
Good morning and welcome to the channel. We're gonna go to the Wheelie Pig Hill Climb. We shot that like four times. Do you think we're good? Yeah. Okay, let's just. Hold up, little buddy. What is you doing? Finna go hard, hard, hard. Ice on my leg, ice on my wrist. That for the squad, squad, squad. Know they gon' hate. Do what I tell them. Get on your jaw, jaw, jaw. Work on smooth. I got the moves. I swear to God, God, God. Hey, I just dropped 200 on a new way. New, new. Put that boop, boop in my boot. Pull up, Got the party bouncing like the blue flame. I can't knock my style when I do it. Watch me do it. Wait. Okay, so we just wrapped up at the Wheelie Pigs Hill Climb. That was an awesome event. We've got tons of vendors. They've got a little chopper show. I think they're about to get into the loudest pipe contest, but before I blow my eardrums from all the dirt bikes and, and Harleys going up the hill, I'm gonna go home. We've been standing out in the heat for about two or three hours. We've probably watched about 20 to 30 bikes go up the hill. Uh, we've drank a little bit of beer and I've got some work to do. So we're gonna get out of here and go get some work done. I will see you guys here in a little bit. What's up guys? So today is going to be our last day in the Durango area and in this area of Colorado. So before we leave, we're going to knock off another one of our national parks in Colorado, Mesa Verde National Park. We're actually in Mesa Verde National Park's visitor center right now in their RV parking lot. It looks like we're actually the only ones here right now. So we're going to drop the fifth wheel and take the truck and go explore Mesa Verde National Park. Like most national parks, this national park doesn't allow dogs on most of the trails and in most parts of the national park. So we're gonna leave them here inside of the fifth wheel and I'm gonna show you how we do that. So when we leave the dogs alone in the trailer, we have three different sources of power. Our first and most commonly used because it's silent and inconspicuous is our Multi Plus Victron 3000 watt inverter. This gives power to all of the outlets inside, allowing us to run the AC as well as run some of our security cameras so we can monitor the dogs. Now, if this doesn't work or fails or we don't have enough battery power to run that, we do have a Cummins Onan 5500 watt onboard generator that is connected to our 30 gallon fuel tank in the back. And now if that fails, we have a backup portable generator just in case. Our dog safety is incredibly important to us and we like to keep an eye on them and make sure that they are protected from the weather, especially in this big metal aluminum box home that we live in. We are at Spruce Tree. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna put that in the YouTube video. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Can you explain to us what Spruce Tree is? Hello, come here. Yeah, Can you stop I'm walking? I'm actually looking real quick. Okay. Wait for you to get your facts straight. So we are currently at Spruce Tree Terrace, which right here is on this side. The Spruce Tree bathrooms are on this side and we are going to the Spruce Tree house. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I'm big excited to move in. To move in. Yeah, moving in. <laughs> I wonder what rent's like here. It's got to be high with the Very views. expensive. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap up this week's vlog. Thanks for traveling with us to Durango, the Four Corners Motorcycle Rally, and eventually Mesa Verde National Park. Unfortunately, it looks like Balcony House and Cliff House are under construction right now, as well as there's a couple other cliff dwellings on the other side of the park that are closed seasonally. They closed last weekend on Labor Day. So at this time that we're here, and this time seasonally, a lot of the parks shut down. 
So we showed you what we could show you and we saw what we could see. If you guys like this video, like any of our videos, or like us in general, please remember to hit that red subscribe button before you hit the red X and hop off the internet today. And we will see you guys in the next one. Oh,